Five and a half years ago, Conrad Armstrong made a puzzling career change. And how does a software engineer go to making jigsaw puzzles for a living? I decided I had made enough money and decided to quit and reinvigorate my hobby of making handmade wooden jigsaw puzzles. He'd been around puzzles for years. Right about the time I graduated from college, my father bought a scroll saw, which is actually what's used to make jigsaw puzzles. And I just picked up on the technique. Each piece is designed and cut by hand out of wood. Mass marketed cardboard puzzles may be wildly popular, more than a billion are sold each year, but Conrad isn't impressed. Once you go to wooden, you don't go back to cardboard. You say that with some disdain. <laughs> well, uh, a little bit. I, I, um, when you have access to a handmade, unique wooden puzzle, a grid-based, stamped-out cardboard puzzle just pales in comparison. Also, here's two straight edges that look like these edge pieces here, right? right? But there's something interesting about them. They actually form the corner. So there isn't one blocky corner piece. It's uh -huh. hard to find the corner piece. His designs include waterscapes, autumn scenes, even wedding presents. He's got a waiting list of customers willing to shell out hundreds of dollars to match wits with him. They're both from the state of Massachusetts. Where's Massachusetts? And his carefully designed tricks. Have you ever designed a puzzle that turned out to be impossible? No, uh, if people stick through it long enough, they'll eventually solve it. <laughs> How long is long enough? have enough time and enough space. <laughs> yes. If you have a table that's separate from the table that you need to eat on. You just leave it there. Or for weeks and months if you need to. Just don't get too attached to the finished product. A couple of times people have asked me what kind of glue can they use, and, and, and I shudder, I cringe at that. So have you ever considered requiring a, a kind of no glue contract or anything with me? You know, that's a good idea. Clearly, designing a good puzzle is an intense business, with each resulting piece its own little work of art.